<laughs> now there's one more time for you guys to head over to Twitter and vote for who you think is going to win. Tweet at Level Esports with your pick. You either hashtag TDK win or hashtag GV win for the mid mouth fight here. Uh, one of these is way more crazy. At least if Latman would have picked Ash, he would have had global hawk shot. True. Which is, whew. So we can see Malphite coming for Unstoppable Force kills him. Yeah. <laughs> now, it, it is worth pointing out, last good. time we saw um, mid Malphite commonly was EULCS, and I want to say early 2014. Just off of Malphite's passive, making it difficult to trade, as well as his actual trading mm -hmm. with the max in his seismic shard is pretty big. Oh, hello, Hanser. And the team is coming in soon. Flame by Baby does not really stop the damage. Hanser in with the box, moves around, teleport for Seraph as well. Latman out of mana, he won't do much. A kick knocks back Baby, moves forced out though. First Blood goes in, the rocket from Altec now to join the fight. Nice dash by Latman, gets away from Buddy Fufu. Seraph gonna puddle out as well. Kez to uh, ditch him all back and a one for one. Uncontested turret. Very well done. All right, so, oh, wow, the flash engage. Hello. They find Baby. In comes Hecarim. How about that for decisiveness? Kez to knock a few back, but still a one for zero off that turret kill. No cough for the shot calling in the middle of the game. How can they make moves and make big plays? Oh, boy. That chomper was big. The head belt pull is helping as well. That lantern would have saved him, but a misstep by Latman means the kill comes in to Bunny Fufu. Three ways to click an area and stun a bunch of people. That man dealing with move a little bit here, but the top lane getting pressured by a fair number of the gravity members. All tech and Buddy Fufu doing what they can for turret demolition. That man wave throws a bit. Move comes in, goes for the flash. A flash wave. Baby gets over the wall, but Keen is around with the ulti from Malphite. Does he even want to use it? The answer is no, because that man's still around. Uh, wow, more come in. Haunter picks up one, and gravity got to be careful. Bishu turns one back around. It's a two for one in gravity's favor, though, as they look to limp away from this one. Still squishy. Who's going to go in for this dragon? The ultimates just aren't there for the majority of the teams. TDK is around. Dragon's still at 2,000 health. They're going to go in for the attempt. The smite for Kez is going to knock, actually, Lisa in, but still picked up a good uh, body slam flash and moves. Got nowhere to go. Picked up by Latman. Three kills now for TDK. Gravity is hoping that they get a. a they have home guard teleport that can come in as well. Gravity might look to flank this one. Here we go. Choppers are down. TP coming in from the Hecarim. Hook's not going to land, but move takes a ton of damage. But there comes the engage. They got Bishu. The wobbles on top of everybody. Bishu does get eliminated without getting to ult, flash, heal, or anything. Latman trying to run away. Bunny Fufu in the front lines has lost the ult. The ignite is on. And the Alice looks like he will just barely live. Latman gets a shutdown on a Hecarim. A bunch of kills for TDK, despite the fact that Bishu went down. A three for one. They got Bishu. And right now, though, Gravity's still feeling like they can try to control Baron. They force the... Uh, scrying orb usage now. Seraph getting a bit surrounded. He's very much by himself. Nice chain CC. Never gets a chance to save when pool. Unless he predicted the head, but nicely done by Gravity. They've got some room to make some plays. Yeah, now they can they can actually kind of force onto this Baron because there's no Seraph to zone off the Alltech in an actual fight. Let's see if Keen gets in range. Really nice kiting so far by GDK. Gravity not able to pull the trigger. They have a small window here, 20 seconds until Seraph can teleport in. 22 seconds now. Kez going to put another Lantern on down. Altec not hitting Baron much. Now he goes in for this one. Hanser taking a bit of damage to the backside. Latman gets hit. There's the flash pulverize in ahead, but down he goes in the keen backline and dive. Looks for Bishu, gets the fear, but not yet the kill. Kez flashes the wall. More chase coming through. Chaos Storm only deters, doesn't kill. Two for zero overall. And a Vladimir. Let's flash play. Altec going to get nothing happening to him. Seraph loses half his health, still no MR. Keen does so much damage, forced to pool early. Haunts are getting hit up right now. In goes Keen to the backline, still can't find Seraph. Looks for Bishu, can't get him either. The dodging away, and down goes Keen in the over aggression. Move kicks them all backwards. Now Altec to carry the fight. Good Whoa. dodge by Baby. Stops the reset that Jinx could have used to kill off Latman right afterwards. This is kind of the game we were expecting. Yep. We didn't expect incredibly decisive oh play over objectives, but everybody wants this one thing. Eventually, someone will get that thing. It's Baron. TDK trying to defend this one. Keen ult is up in about 10 or like three seconds right now. 4,000 HP on Baron. Kez on the back wall. Keen flashes in. He goes for the engage. They find Bishu. Move gets the kill. Altec versus Seraph. Knocked back by Kez. This side of the fight's going well for Gravity. Baby, the third kill picked up. Seraph nearly gone. Kez and Seraph is trying to get away from this one. It's already been a four for one. Kez goes down. Oh. Seraph gonna drop to Hauntzer. That's the ace and gravity have control. Yeah, honestly, one inhibitor down. 
Baron buff, Bunny Foof was huge. You can dive with an Alpha Alistair quite well. So this turret's actually not as safe as it would be. Bunny Foofu got turret aggro. We look for Kez a little bit as well. Bunny Foofu, yeah, taking a ton of damage. In comes to the uh, team to the back line. They don't quite get anything at the start. Flash Pulverize still does not find kills, and Gravity stuck inside the base. One kill picked up for Bishu. The turret does go down. Is there counter engage? Oh, wow, Keen gets one. Alltech misses, but they get a second just the same. A two for one. Into the base they go. Second on him will go down. Gravity with a numbers lead, but Sarah has something to say about that one. Takes a million and a half damage. They try to re-engage back on Alltech. The hook on a Hauntzer, he might go down. Move is squishy, but they can't get the damage onto him just yet. Oh! In goes, picks up Lapman, wow! A move makes an LCS big play at the end of that one, and now Altec is here to clean up the base with Hauntzer. Seraph needs home guards to try to defend this one. Heals back up, but can he defend the game in time? Brings Altec to half, Pop Sanguin pull. Here comes the hook as well. It's gonna be close, Seraph gets one. He looks for number two, trying to knock down Keen. Move's still around though, and gets the Nexus. GG for Gravity. 42 minutes of fury this was between Gravity and TDK. You asked if there was counter engage at the end. Yes, there was a lot of counter engage. Yes. Malphite finally found the right ultimate. Keen waiting so long in all of these fights to get the right Malphite ultimate off, and he finally does to just blow some people up on TDK.